Buhari arrested in Abuja. Police arrest 20 years old kingpin by name Buhari orders inside Abuja Hotel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, lovely people, also freedom all over the world. Wherever you're joining us from today, you're highly welcome to this wonderful YouTube platform that gives you updated news and information on all the issues trending and happening in Biafran territory. Please subscribe to this channel if you've not yet subscribed. Make sure you turn on your notification and definitely one thing you are sure of getting is only the quality news and information as it is hot. Now straight to the news where I carry on for you. I know say you could be surprised with the headline. You know the title of the news where I give. Some of Funago in a Buhari dead or arrest, but the reality is that um, the kingpin that has been terrorizing um, Abuja, the federal capital territory, you know, uh, we remember the issue of insecurity and how it, it started growing in Abuja recently. So many issues of kidnapping and all that. Now, that 20 year old kidnapper. You know, the kingpin, Buhari Mohammed, Mohammed Buhari. <laughs> now, the guy name, in the answer, the same name of the former president has been arrested with his kingpin and then um, the, with his, um, with his men is the one heading the, um, the terrorists, the bandits that have been ravaging and causing kidnapping, you know, in Abuja Axis. They've arrested him with his, um, gang members. Without wasting much of your time, we will give you the news in detail. The police operatives from the Federal Capital Territory Command have arrested a 20-year-old kidnap kingpin, Muhammad Buhari, and five others in a hotel in Abuja. The suspects who were arrested following intelligence on their activities were said to have kidnapped one Joshua Eze. Eze, who was abducted on January 27, was subsequently rescued on hot by operatives of the command on January 28, 2024. We continue with the news. Announcing the arrest of the suspect in a statement on Monday, the Federal Capital Territory Command spokesperson, SP Josephine Ade, stated that one AK-47 and 350,000 Naira were recovered from the suspect. The statement reads, Police operatives of the Federal Capital Territory Police Command attached to anti-kidnapping unit in the continued fight against criminality in Federal Capital Territory on 2nd February 2024 acting on credible intelligence, arrested one Buhari Mohammed, male, 20 years, a wanted kidnap kingpin, Muhammad Sabu, M, 20 years, Isa Abdullahi, male, Hamzat Musa, male, 21 years, and Fatima Abdullahi, female, 22 years. And finally, Zuliat Yusuf, female, 23 years, in a hotel in Mbasa village in Federal Capital Territory. The notorious kingpin kidnap syndicate was responsible for the abduction of one Joshua Eze, the husband to Blessing Eze, who suffered a bullet injury in the process of her husband's abduction on 27th. First, 2024, and was subsequently rescued on hot by police operatives of the command on 28 January 2024. One AK-47 rifle, 10 mobile phones, cash sums of 345,000 Naira and some other valuables were recovered from the suspects who have since confessed to the crime and other kidnapping incidents in the territory. Are they, are they urged residents to give timely updates to sus on suspicious activities in their environment? She said, while the investigation is still ongoing, the Commissioner of Police, FCT, CP Bennett Igwe, 
wishes to assure members of the public of his commitment to rid federal capital territory of criminality in all its manifestation. We continue. He equally urge, urges some residents to report suspicious activities. Since the commencement of the year, the Federal Capital Territory has experienced a surge in kidnapping incidents. These incidents have caused apprehension among residents of the territory. On February 1, 2024, the latest abduction in the nation's capital took place in Kubwa, Buari, Aerial Council of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, involving two teenage sisters. And that is that on the issue of um, the arrest of the kingpin, you know, that has been terrorizing residents in Abuja. Now, let us go to other news, you know, before we analyze and give our own input or what we think concerning the insecurity, you know, in the whole country, because it's not a matter of one particular place. You know, the country generally is in total disarray at this point in time. You know, the country is in total jeopardy. It's a matter of Ionye uh, Metarayaburu, because Nigeria has actually done a lot Nigeria has actually done a lot. So many genocidal attacks, you know, especially in Biafran land. You do not expect a country that has murdered a lot of innocent um, citizens to just continue to flourish. It doesn't happen that way. You cannot continue, you know, to trample on innocent people and spill innocent blood. Then you expect the country to move forward. You know, what is happening to the country is beyond what people think or what people know. Let us go to the next news. As police declare officers wanted for murder. This is actually the case. You know, police have declared their fellow officers wanted, you know, for murder. A particular officer murdered an innocent person. But this is just a number of one out of hundred cases. This is the one we know. What about the ones we do not know? We've seen, you know, a situation where these police officers in the night turn to villains. They turn to monsters, attacking innocent people, even robbing, you know, um, people, travelers on the highway. So, this is just a matter of one out of so many. The police security operatives in Nigeria are causing more harm than good. That is just the truth of the matter. And you cannot disband them. Because let's assume you decide to remove, you know, security operatives, maybe police, for example. They will turn to criminals and start hunting people. And the situation will even worsen. The only way, you know... In handling this issue of security operatives is, is what um, the, the 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 people you know of Biafra are doing in their territory in Biafra territory, protecting their people and getting rid of these security you know operatives who are causing mayhem in Biafra land. The news: Police declare officer wanted for murder, and the news reads in detail. The police command in Anambra State has declared Inspector Udi Omadefu with force number AP number 3C21781 wanted for murder. DSP Tochuku Ikenga, the police public relations officer, Anambra Command, stated this in a statement in Oka on Tuesday. Ikenga said that the command urges any member of the public who sees the fugitive or has information on his whereabouts to report to the nearest police station. The police spokesperson published some telephone numbers of the police in the state with an appeal to Nigerians to report to the police whenever they see the wanted inspector. The command assured the public that any information given in this regard would be treated with utmost confidentiality, he said. 
and that is that um, on the issue you see one thing that police people try to do they try to protect their own people thereby hiding you know the major cause of this um, arrest they did not give full detail of what he did they just declared him wanted for for murder they don't want to tell us because they no one opened their nyash. They no one opened their nyash. Make you know what thing they happen. This is how these people keeps on killing innocent persons on daily basis, or in the name of um, security operatives. Oh, have you seen how these people attack innocent citizens? Let a police officer see a young boy. And um, you know the next thing that that goes on, the boy might refuse to give his phone, and you see the harassment coming from left and right. In so many cases, I've seen innocent people being shot for doing nothing, just because they are standing for their right. You know the country has gotten to a level where you don't even dare come out to say you have a right. You don't have a right so far police is involved you don't have a right that is why you know we keep on praising the prime minister simon Ekpa for what he is doing in the in in biafran land currently especially in southeastern part of biafran land where he is making sure he gets rid of this security you know um security operatives in biafran land the reality is that they are doing more harm than good they are doing more harm than good. Let's face reality. And if something is not being done, they keep on getting rid of innocent people on daily basis. This is a question of how many have they have they killed? How many innocent people have they murdered? Maybe because of uh, the fact that we are able to see, you know, all the the, the, the case was reported early. What of the ones who didn't see? But anyhow, we don't hear I'm the news will carry come for you today on this wonderful YouTube platform. Please do not forget them to always show your support when needed. Show your support because we keep on giving you the back-to-back -back news and information as it is all. Thank you once again, beautiful people, you know, for joining us today on this news hour and then um, for always sharing our news to the public continue to share this video continue to stay tuned and on your notification so that you get notified whenever we drop our spanking news god bless you